Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Now enjoy my video. Heyo! Welcome to my next project for the Art Formis Design Team. Today I'm going to play with the butterfly stamp from Rebecca Meyer Designs and from the plant from Bolts Designs. It's basically some leaves with some... Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to travel pretty soon and I came across while I was shopping this uh, backpack thingy and it is made from raw canvas and I thought that's gonna be a fun project I have to shift the camera a little bit because of this hard part I have to have it hanging over the table so I have a nice surface to stamp with my acrylic paints that's what I'm gonna use so I do use uh, some greens one is a neon or a reflex green from amsterdam and that's a greenish yellow which is slightly transparent the neon colors are always transparent so that's going to be the background with this stamp and then for the butterfly i did choose a iridescent color from pbo and that's actually from PO2, which is not iridescent, but it's a matte color, which is very covering up um, the greens. And I'm gonna roll it onto the stamp. And the thing with the acrylic paint, if you don't use it for, let's say, clothing, if you don't wanna wash it, you are fine just with the plain acrylic paints. If you plan to wash your things which I obviously don't do with a backpacker and I, I don't want to wash this um, then you need a textile medium which is which you can mix in in any acrylic paints but as I said I don't gonna wash this so I don't need the acrylic medium so I can go just right in with the acrylic paints hmm doesn't seem to be a lot left and then I simply gonna roll it with the roller I don't want too much on my roller and I want a little bit more of those if there is still some here yeah here we go I want a little bit more green in it. Oops. So I give a nice application and I start printing. You can bend some of the designs in a little bit uh, different shapes if you like and I think I'm gonna start here and give a nice even pressure the inlet of this bag is sort of a plasticky thing so I'm not too much concerned about seeping through and then lift it up carefully here we have to burst and I'm gonna put them upside down also is a foam you really can make good impression by it adapts sort to your surface so much easier on some rather uneven areas here we go I really like this stamp from um, 
chili balls. Or <laughs> Sorry. I know it's balsa design, but I had to think about the, about the first name. This time we're gonna go again this way. And maybe I bend it a little bit. If you are uh, acrylic paint or ink or whatever you use a little bit of time to transfer when you stamp. We are not at the post office and have to stamp as quickly as possible. So spread your color out a bit so that you have an even coat on your roller. That's your goal for having nice prints. Here we go. So this has to dry. I'm gonna use the heat tool and I also gonna wash my stamp right away and then I will be back. Stamp simply with some uh, hand soap and uh, under running water and a little brush and it is spanking new. So really easy to clean up also, which is nice. <laughs> I don't cleaning anyway. So for the butterfly, they do have those things they call stamp body. Now you can apply your paint on the stamp body and then stamp from it. Uh, the, the advantage of this is you have like uh, a variegated stamp pad and you can use it also with um, acrylic paint again. That's what I'm gonna use for. And I decided I'm gonna add in some uh, neon pink just because I can and I gonna make a variegated stamp pad down here that's the iridescent turquoise and maybe here, over here a little bit of the matte so you can make all kind of different patterns on your stamp body and then add it to your stamp which gives you every time a unique result. So I do mist it a little bit just with a spritz of water and then I use that sort like an ink pad and because the stamp body is a little bit bigger than the butterfly you always get different re results depending where you picking up your color. So let's see how that works. Looking nice on here. Again, giving time, giving a good press and then lift up. Maybe this time I'm going over here. Also gonna off the bag 
You don't always have to have the whole pattern. Nice. And I'm also going to go over the green parts. Now I want the partial print here, so I have to cover up my straps. I don't want the straps to be colored. So I have to grab just a scrap piece of paper. I don't think it will look good having the butterfly on the straps. I'm thinking about adding sort of a border stamp here because I have also border stamp. Also, it's going to be tough, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to use those uh, stamps from Red Tin Roof. And I'm especially attracted to those round things. I think they would fit nice. But first I want to try, I did hit the part a little bit here. See if I can remove a little bit, just a little bit. It is still wet, the acrylic paint, so I can fade it out a bit. Now I'm gonna use the same stamp body again with the same colors for the border around here. So. Let's see what we get. I think I'm gonna add just the circle here. Okay. And here. Here we go. That wasn't too hard, I think. It is an easy and a fun project and I have now a unique backpacker which nobody else has. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again.